Hey, Chet, what you doing? You know, just photosynthesizing. What if I take away your light supply? As the light intensity decreases, Chet slows down. Light is needed for the reaction to occur, so when there is no light, Chet is not able to perform. Hey, Chet, what you doing? You know, just photosynthesizing. What if I increase your light supply? As the light intensity increases, the reaction speeds up. But eventually there's a point at which the reaction cannot increase any further, even though light intensity may. Hey, Chet, what you doing? You know, just photosynthesizing. What if I take away your water supply? As water is taken away, photosynthesis cannot occur. This is why Chet slows down. Hey, Chet, what you doing? You know, just photosynthesizing. What if I increase your water supply? How about this and this and that and that? Water is needed for photosynthesis to occur, but eventually there is a limit reached, and as more water is given, the rate actually decreases. Hey, Chet, what you doing? Well, you know, I'm just photosynthesizing. What if I... Increase the temperature. There's a specific range at which photosynthesis occurs best. And when the temperature is outside of that range, the rate of reaction slows down. For example, with this candle, it is hotter than the specific range needed. So Chet slows down. Hey Chet, what you doing? You know, just photosynthesizing. What if I decrease the temperature? As temperature decreases, the rate of photosynthesis slows down. This is because of the specific range at which photosynthesis occurs best, which is from 0 to 35 degrees Celsius. When the snowball was thrown at Chet, the temperature dropped below this range, therefore he slowed down.